Yes, it's a very overwork, overworked word of late, but it's polarisation. We are seeing uh, increased uh, hardening of yields in the prime sector. We're seeing secondary drift out. In the occupational market, we're seeing occupiers focusing on the top 80 centres, probably is the maximum, a lot of them on the top 50 and little beyond that. So we're seeing um, risks are on the downside if you're in the secondary market, but the flight is definitely to core. And there's you know, a lot of issues going on with occupiers. Um, the basis of the UK market is made up of fashion occupiers, fashion by its very name and definition is, is transient, retailers come and go all the time, um, but increasingly the position uh, is focusing more towards the major conurbations, the dominant centres within that, uh, and the secondary market is uh, becoming ever flakier. And in, in terms of the, because obviously in, in the UK there were a number of, of high profile um, uh, retail companies that disappeared essentially or are now beginning to come back some of them um, mainly high street more than shopping centers but are you are you seeing that uh, do, you, do you think there's more of a more of more of those to come or do you think mostly all of that was dealt with because it was christmas i think know? there's there will be more to come there'll be more to come forevermore i mean that is the nature of of, of retail it is ever changing um i don't think I think we've seen the worst. We've seen a high fallout of the uh, legacy retailers from the highly leveraged days. So a lot of a lot of retailers geared up to debt levels that they couldn't possibly afford, based on uh, increased sales uh, from increased spend. And in fact, what we've seen is is sales uh, flatline. We've seen margins decline, and we've seen a negative. seen neg negative growth in the loss of um, in the actual margins, retailers' margins. So I think there will be more, um, but we're still attracting new retailers, particularly from America.